people used to say, oh, it's made in China to mean that it's something that is cheaply made. That's not true. That's not true. Look at what China's building. They have high-speed rail. You know, they're, they're uh, posing a real competition with um, Huawei, uh, e even TikTok, right? So this makes the United States feel threatened because the United States wants to maintain a monopoly on the world economy. They want to be number one, and they want not, not just to have the biggest economy, but in, in specific sectors like big tech, they want Silicon Valley to be number one. And that's why Trump basically tried to blackmail the Chinese, right? He said, like, if you don't sell TikTok to an American company, I'm going to ban it. I mean, that's... <laughs> he just blackmailed them. Like, you, you sell it to us or it's banned. So, you know, they, they, they feel threatened by this. They, they want Silicon Valley big tech to be dominated by American manufacturers and American uh, uh, companies. And, of course, it's not just a question of economics. You know, this offers great advantages in terms of spying, right? If you've got American tech companies on your phone, they can hear what you're saying and see what you're, you're, you're doing. And they have been, as we know from the NSA files. So, you know, the Belt and Road Initiative is what has got these people so, so riled up. They hate this because uh, China is going to overtake them in just a matter of years. China is working on the Belt and Road Initiative. You know, the, the Belt and Road Initiative, you have 140 countries that have already signed up. Um, you know, the, the other day, I was with, with uh, uh, John Shipton, who's Julian Assange's father, and we were doing a Q&A, and somebody asked, like, what do you think of the world situation right now? Because it looks very grim, right, with all these wars. And I was like, yeah, I agree. And then John said something which, which kind of, you, you know, it got me thinking, because he said, well, that, you know, that's true, but you have positive things that are happening, like the Belden Road Initiative, like what's happening in the East. And he's right. I mean, I already knew that, but I, I didn't think to connect the dots, because usually the stuff that's happening is quite grim but it's true it doesn't have to be this way right there's there's a multipolar order coming and it does that doesn't mean that china is going to be leading it or controlling it china china is not seeking to do that because in the very meaning of the the the, the phrase it's multipolar and iran and russia and china they've all said this it's multipolar it's not unipolar or controlled by one hyper power you know da danny raised this point that the chinese are not even excluding the americans they're saying everybody's welcome Everybody's welcome to join the Belt and Road Initiative, to join the new Silk Road. The Silk Road was basically a trade route in, in, that ran all the way from China through Asia, in, you know, into Syria and, and basically, you know, into, into Europe. And it, it was, it, it's the most infamous trade route in history because it was so, so um, uh, central and, and important. And the Chinese are trying to revive that by calling it the new Silk Road. And this time it's going to be even bigger and even better. And it's, it's going to include maritime uh, uh, trade as well uh, on, a, on a much larger scale, you know. So it's not just going to be in Asia and the Middle East. It's going to expand all the way to Latin America. You've got countries like uh, Cuba and, uh, in Central America and Venezuela that are joining the Belt and Road Initiative. Syria, Iran, 140 countries. And that scares the West because the West is in decline. The pound and the euro are in the gutter. You know, America, the, the U.S. is so desperate to stay at... Uh, in the in the driver's seat right is so desperate to be number one that they're coming out and saying oh the chinese are a threat we have to give the australians nuclear powered submarines we have to make a military alliance AUKUS, the uk the us australia right we have to confront the chinese a, a rising china like like they say like as if it's a you know like some some dragon coming out of the ground that's about to eat everybody you know i think i, th I think it's extremely obnoxious it's extremely obnoxious like any sort of competition has to be crushed. And so what they're doing now is they're trying to paint um, uh, Xi Jinping as being some evil maniac. You know, it's the same, same thing they did with, with, uh, uh, with Putin, right? Oh, he's bent on world domination. Uh, he's just evil. He just hates people in the West. He hates democracy. He's an autocrat. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking broken record bullshit.